Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Bryony. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. But for now, let's dive on in. So I have a very exciting unboxing today. This actually just arrived this afternoon. And as soon as I finished work, I got ready and I was like, right, we are going to film this just because I want it to be my sort of true, honest first impression but at the same time I want to know what's in it so I was like we have to we have to film this straight away we have to know what's inside what have I spent my money on I have no idea so I'm just going to cover up my address which is on the top but we have the Beautylish mystery um I think it's called a Lucky Dip? I'm not sure. I'll put the title as what it's called. It's a mystery box, but I'm not sure if they call it a, a lucky bag. It's It only comes out once a year, and it comes out um, at the start of the year in January. And every year they have, you know, different sizes and different amounts. In I'm in the UK. In the UK, you can only get the basic box. So there's like a $75 one and then there's one that's more expensive. But to the UK this year, they only had the smaller um, priced box. Um, so I picked that up. There was also a Jeffree Star option. So there was like a small and a large Beautylish box and a small and a large Jeffree Star. The Jeffree Star boxes just have completely Jeffree Star products in. They don't have any other brands. And the other ones, as far as I'm aware, have no Jeffree Star in and they have mixed brands, but they are supposed to be like high-end brands. Um, I've gone for the non Jeffree Star just because of my views, which we won't get into in this video. But yeah, I'm going to dive on in because I have no idea what's in here. I have been dying to know ever since it arrived um, two or three hours ago. And yeah, inside, I've not actually, I've opened it just so that it was easy to open on camera, but I've not looked in. This is what it looks like. And then there's lots of tissue. And then we have a bundle of products. Now I'm going to try not to look at it too much, but I'll show you. So I have no idea what's in here, but I can see a product that I think is good molecules. Um, I know this because I was on their PR list. I'm not sure if I still am. Uh, so I haven't had anything from them for a while but I have had products in the past from them and I did really enjoy those. I'm just gonna rip this open, um, so I'll just cut it while I do that because it's gonna be really noisy and, and you don't need any of that. So I'll just rip it open. As I say, I'll cut that bit out because it's annoying and then we can dive on in. So I've made it like a little bag without looking at it too much, just so that I can sort of dip in because I don't want to spoil it, but at the same time, I don't want you to have that annoying rustling sound because there's nothing worse. So, first up, we have, <gasps> ooh! So the first product is a bougie product. I haven't tried any of this brand, but I have got a palette. I just haven't got around to trying it yet. So this is Natasha Denona. As I say, I have got a palette of hers. I've got the Love palette from last year. Um, but I still haven't got around to trying it. Um, this is a Crystal Chroma Liquid Eyeshadow. Let's see what shade you are. It says it's called Nightfall. Oh my goodness me, look at that. That is insane. I don't know how well my ca the camera's going to pick this up, but it's duochrome green purple that is red i don't even know so many different colors let's give it a swatch wow okay that is gorgeous it's very dark very sultry but it's so beautiful i really don't think the camera is picking up all the different shifts but it is beautiful 
very very impressed with my first item so as i said this was 75 dollars, but i did have to pay customs and shipping um i can't remember how much i paid in total in english pounds but what i'll do is i'll pop it on the screen here just so that you're aware should you want to check them out next year it is just a, a one-off thing so the They'll be sold out now, I imagine. So you will have to wait for next year if you want something like this. Um, I don't want to pick up something too good and then let everything be rubbish after that. So we've got a brush. And I don't know this brand. But it feels like a nice brush, a really nice brush. I'd say this was definitely high end by the feel of it. It definitely feels as soft as like my Sigma brushes. So this is by a brand called Sonia G. And it is the Worker Pro. And it obviously it says Japan on it. And it is probably the bougiest brush I've ever felt. It is so soft. And as I say, I'm a big fan of Sigma brushes, which are not the cheapest. And this feels the same, probably better. I was going to say the same quality, but possibly even better quality. It feels so luxurious. So yeah, I love a good brush. So I am pleased with that one. So far, so good. I don't want to pick up anything that feels too exciting. <laughs> because I want to say some good stuff so this is a product by Lena Lena Chu I don't know what this is but it looks like it is going to be Korean um, or possibly Chinese but it's got if you can see that it's got all the kind of um, I don't know Korean or Chinese writing on it The only reason I say Chinese is I think it, this is for Chinese New Year, this box. Yeah, so I don't know who this who this brand is again, but let's have a look and see what it is. This is cute. Really nice. So this is actually a lipstick. I wouldn't have thought it'd be a lipstick just due to the size of the box. I mean, if you look at the size of the box, I was thinking this was going to be like some sort of serum, but it's a lipstick. And how bougie is this? The box opens up like this. And then there's velvet. There's, it's in a velvet pouch. You can tell, well, I don't use sort of high-end, high-end. I do have some high-end, you know, like the sort of MAC sort of range, but nothing like really, really expensive. Um, I don't really have by Terry or anything of that caliber. Um, but yeah, it looks in a black velvet case. And it feels really nice as well. It's like metal. And it just feels nice to the touch. Do you know what? I'm all about the packaging. Um, it's red inside. Which again, is very bougie. It's got engraving on it as well on the bullet I don't know if you'll see that I think the ring light's making it a bit difficult to see but there is engraving on it and it's kind of like an orangey I don't know it's not red it's it is orange but it's like a nudie orange I'd say burnt orange that's the one we're going for burnt orange Oh, and it does that as well. Nothing like a magnetic closure. So, yeah, I really like... It's not my colour, I must say. It's not a colour I would wear. But I really like everything else about that lipstick other than the fact that I wouldn't wear it. It is just... Yeah, I'm a packaging person. That is gorgeous. Now, let's dive in again. What have we got here? Okay. This is different. So this is a um, breakout spot treatment. Okay, so this has like zinc oxide, apple cider vinegar, 
peppermint oil so yeah it's one of those dab it on your spots situations i'll probably give that my husband because yeah i don't really use stuff like that only because i have very sensitive skin so next we have a good molecules product this is what i was expecting it to be because i could tell by the packaging as i say i did get pr from this company a couple of times I'm not sure if I'm still on the PR list, but this is the Pineapple Exfoliating Powder. And this is really weighty. This is 60 grams. So it's got fruit enzymes, vitamin C and rice powder to soften, brighten and exfoliate. And yeah, the products that I have tried, I've not tried this specific one, but the products I have tried from Good, Good Molecules, I've, I've pretty much enjoyed all of them so yeah pleased to have another good molecules product right we're down to the last couple now okay so now we've got a brush roll so this is a faux fur brush roll in black now this wouldn't be something that i would keep just because i have that many brushes i have literally like some here these are all of my brushes so we've got my eye ones here and that's not all of them we've got some more here which are mostly eye ones and then i've got some more over there and some more in another room so i have tons so a brush roll isn't for me but yeah it's cute it's fur and it's magnetic which is kind of cool and it's like leatherette on the inside and then faux fur on the outside I really like that now if I was somebody that had a small amount of brushes you know that would definitely be something that was up my street but yeah I don't so it is a bit pointless in my opinion for me and then final product we have a Charlotte Tilbury product. This is the Copper Charge Luxury Palette. So it looks like this. Oh, that's pretty. Very pretty. And that's what she looks like. So yeah, that is stunning. I really, really like that palette. Right up my street, some gorgeous shimmer shades. So yeah, that is everything. Um, do I think it was worth the money? Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. And the only reason I say that is definitely worth the money in regards to how much you get for your money but whether I would use everything here um I would definitely um use this palette I would definitely use this brush um definitely use the Natasha Denona cream eyeshadow um the other bits I do love good molecules so I'll probably use that one as well that's four that I will definitely use and then yeah I wouldn't use the brush um roll just because it's a bit pointless for me and yeah the lipstick's not my shade and yeah I don't really luckily enough I don't really get the kind of spots that need drying up so yeah those three probably not things I would use it's always a bit of a gamble when you get a mystery box or a lucky bag or whatever you want to call it and it does depend on personal preference and taste as to whether it's going to be good value for you because it doesn't matter how much the products are worth if you would not use them so yeah overall i am happy however i would have preferred perhaps to have slightly different items i had seen some spoilers of what other people got when I say some I watched like the first item get pulled out of one person's and then I stopped watching because I was like no you're gonna ruin it you're gonna ruin it stop watching so I stopped watching 
I'm now going to go and see what everybody else got in this size box because I might be mistaken, but I do believe somebody got a um, Natasha Denona love palette, which I already have anyway, but the, you know, £60 palette. And I do think that somebody else, she'd said somebody else got the bronze one. I would have loved either of those. Well, to be fair though, I have... I probably wouldn't have loved the loved one because I've already got it, if that makes sense. But yeah, um, I am loving this um, duo chrome eyeshadow. It is beautiful and I do love the um, palette as well. So yeah, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. It really does help my channel and I hope to see you in a video again soon. Bye. Bye.